Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss and analyze the poem Ode to the West Wind by P. B. Shelley. In this ode, Shelley focuses his attention not on the fruitfulness of the season but on the destructive aspects of nature. He starts talking about those aspects of autumn which presage the death of the year and also the bleakness of winter. He begins by personifying the west wind. He addresses it as O oh, wild west wind. He calls the west wind wild. Wild because it is uncontrollable and brings about destruction. Thou breath of autumn's being. He calls the west wind as the breath of autumn's being. He says that the existence of autumn depends upon the west wind. The season of autumn breathes because of the west wind. This season is alive because of the wildness of the west wind. Now all of us know that the season of autumn is known for its bleakness. That is the barrenness which it brings. The wind sweeps and there is a bleak landscape. That is this season of autumn is lacking in warmth, lacking in life or kindliness. This season is not at all encouraging and not hopeful too. So we see uh, further he writes that Thou from whose unseen presence the leaves dead are driven. Thou stands for the west wind. Thou, you west wind from whose unseen presence you cannot be seen and from your unseen presence the dead leaves, the dried leaves are driven. They are driven away like ghosts from an enchanter fleeing. Like the ghosts, the leaves fly away as if they are afraid of the magician. Like ghosts who are afraid of the magician and they start moving away from that place. The west wind carries away the dead leaves as if the dead leaves are flying away from the magician. Uh, all of us know that autumn, the season of autumn begins by getting, the days start getting colder and the leaves start shedding their, the tree starts shedding their leaves. The leaves dry up in this season, they change their color from green to red, orange, yellow and even brown just before they fall down. So there is less sunlight also in this season and there is less warmth in this season because the days also start getting shorter. There is less sunlight. The seasons all of you know are defined as spring which begins from March, April and May. Summer from June, July, August. Autumn begins in September, October and ends in November. Then winter begins in December, January and February. And every country experiences different seasons according to its geographical location. In the season of autumn, the nights start becoming longer. The temperature starts falling and we start feeling cooler. Now in the spring season, the reverse of autumn happens. Though Shelley focuses by beginning his poem on the fruitfulness of the season of autumn, but his aim is to look beyond this bleakness brought about by autumn to the awakening that is to come in the spring season, the season which comes after the winters and the melancholy, the sadness which he expresses 
he himself sweeps aside in the end of the poem and ends the poem with a note of hope he says that spring will come after winter so we see that this poem is an expression of the poem's longing for such power as the west wind possesses he begins the poem with the autumn and ends it with hopefulness in the season of spring in the spring season we see that the reverse of autumn happens the weather starts turning warmer the trees start growing their leaves and the plants also start growing new flowers young animals like chips and lambs are also born in summers the weather is usually warm the trees also have full grown green leaves the day is also longer the flowers bloom so everyone is filled with happiness the spring's warmer weather and the increased light during the day hours makes it the best season we can take long walks and see flowers blooming this makes spring a very welcome season a season of rebirth and rejuvenation that is the opposite of what happens in autumn the flowers and the trees everything is in its bloom during the spring season we can see nature blooming and sprouting before our own eyes so the spring marks an end of the winter season and the beginning of summer season a beginning of warmth and hopefulness thus we see that chali deals with the themes of death and rebirth in his poem the ode to the west wind from the very beginning in the west wind he describes the west wind as a very powerful and destructive wind as it takes away the summer and brings winter winter is a season which is usually associated with death and sorrow so he says that the wind does not bring peace but still he says in the end that he celebrates this wind because it is necessary for the circle of life it is necessary for progress and rebirth because without death there will be no rebirth therefore he says that the wind serves as an important role in preserving so in the beginning lines o wild west wind thou breath of autumn's being we come to know that he speaks to the wind as though it were a person he calls the wind the breath of autumn's being thus he personifies the wind once again by giving it the human quality of having breath and then he describes the west wind as having an unseen presence we cannot see the wind which makes it seem as though the author the poet shelley personifies the wind and considers it as a sort of god or a spiritual being we cannot see god or a spiritual being the last line of this stanza specifically refers to the wind as though it is a spiritual being which drives away drives away death and ghosts it is a characteristic simile the immaterial wind is compared to the material enchanter or a music magician and the material leaves that is which have a physical existence those leaves are considered to be immaterial ghosts in the second stanza fourth line or the first line of the second stanza shelley writes yellow and black and pale 
एंड हेक्टिक रेड पेस्टिलेंस स्ट्रिकन मल्टीट्यूड्स ओ दाव ओ दाव ओ यू दैट इज द वेस्ट विंड ओ यू वेस्ट विंड हु चैरियटेस्ट टू द डार्क विंटरी बेड येलो ब्लैक पेल एंड हेक्टिक दैट इज अनहेल्दी रेड आर द कलर्स ऑफ द लीव्स सो इन दिस स्टैंडा he describes the dead autumn leaves they are not painted as colorful and beautiful but they rather symbolize death and disease the poet describes these colors yellow black and red which are associated with death and hectic red is a color which reminds us of blood and sickness now shelley describes the dead and dying leaves as pestilence stricken multitudes they are in quite a lot of numbers and they appear to be pestilence stricken struck by pestilence this is not not at all a beautiful description of the fall or autumn leaves the speaker or the poet appears to see autumn leaves as a symbol of dead sick and the dying the west wind then comes along like having a chariot and it carries away the leaves to the dark wintry bed now this wintry bed bed is a symbol of the grave the west wind comes and carries these leaves far away and buries them in the bed that is the earth the leaves appear to be struck by an epidemic pestilence can be any fatal disease which spreads quickly and also kills a large number of people people it is a contagious or an infectious epidemic disease like we are having corona in the present times it is very virulent and devastating something that destroys or kills a large number of people thank you